Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kay Till and I am back with another video. If you are new here, go ahead, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that little bell icon so you can get notifications when I post new videos. Today I'm going to be showing you how I got this cut off bloody mouth look. It is the month of October, which means Halloween is right around the corner. So you know we trying to get it together with these Halloween looks. So first I'm just going to take a baby wipe and I'm going to wipe off any lip balm, chapstick, or lip gloss. So here I have some liquid latex that you can get from any Halloween store and a triangular sponge that I'm going to use to apply the liquid latex onto my face. Here I noticed that applying the liquid latex straight to the sponge was going to be a little messy so I decided to put some onto a paper plate and then dab it in there as I use it. Here I'm going to fast forward it so that you can see, like you see that I'm applying it all over my lips, my mouth area, and I'm just going to continue doing that until the next step. Next, we're going to take some paper tissue, some toilet paper, and we're going to rip it up and apply it to the liquid latex on my face. We're going to apply about three or four layers of tissue, then latex, tissue, then latex, and we're going to keep doing that about three or four times. Now that I am all covered up, I'm going to take any excess toilet paper and I'm going to cut it off. Here I'm just waiting for it to dry and of course it's taking way too long so I'm just going to use my blow dryer to speed up the process. Okay, so now that we are all dried up, I'm going to take my fingernail and poke a hole in the middle of it. Then I'm going to take any brush or makeup brush and open up that surface underneath between the liquid latex and my skin. Then I'm going to take a pair of scissors and cut right down the middle. Okay, so here we're going to make the mouth look a little bit more open by cutting off some of this tissue paper and latex mask that we put over our face. Here we are going to apply some powder. I have the Sasha Buttercup powder. Um, we're going to apply powder onto the mouth area because clearly I see it is not my color so now we have to transform the skin or the fake skin into the skin color that I am. Okay so right here I had to backtrack a little bit and show y'all that I am going to stretch out the latex a little bit so that it looks like the skin has been ripped off my face and stretched out so you're not going to exactly stretch it you're just going to tug on it so here I'm going to take a cream makeup palette and I'm going to use the color black and blend that all through the inside of the mouth I'm just going to take any um, 
foundation. This is the foundation I use normally for my skin. And I'm going to apply that onto the outside layers of the mouth so that um, it could blend in with my skin. Like, what does that look like if I don't blend it in, you know? The foundation kind of got on the inside, so I'm going to go over it again with the black cream Halloween makeup. And then I'm going to add a little bit of the red cream Halloween makeup. So here I'm going to take some bloody scab that I got from Spirit, or you can get it from any Halloween store near you. And I'm going to simply apply it to the inside of the mouth so that it could look like it's freshly cut and scabby. Okay, so it is okay to get messy with this. Next, we're going to take some vampire blood and some demon blood. These two bloods are different because the demon blood is a little bit thicker, a little bit darker. Uh, the vampire blood is a little bit more red toned and runny. So we're just going to take this and start to drip it down our neck, drip it down the scars, like, you know, if you get your mouth cut off, it's not going to be clean cut, you know what I'm saying? Unless, you know, that's the look you're going for, but we're going to add blood all over the place. Okay, guys, so this is the finishing look. If you completely like this look, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you love this look and you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button so that you can get notifications every time I post. And don't worry guys, this stuff comes right off so you don't have to worry about looking like this for the rest of your life. <laughs> but don't forget to look in the description box below for the products that I used and don't forget to follow me on social medias. My Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time. Bye.